What's the matter, don't you like it? Like it? Webster, that's the most beautiful Christmas tree I've ever seen in my whole life. Uh, no, I mean it. Really? Certainly. Oh, uh, uh, I sure like that. Good lands. I wouldn't have believed it could look like that when I brought it home. Did Aunt Muriel help you? No, I did this all by myself. Mm, uh, the uh, top branches, too? Well, yeah. That's what I thought. Well, after all, I'm only a three. I know. Hey, Webster, that looks almost like little Joe, the Christmas tree. What are you talking about? Little Joe. Didn't I ever tell you the story of little Joe, the Christmas tree? No. Come over here and sit down. This I want you to hear. Oh, boy. Well, it all started a long, long time ago in the land of make-believe. But where? Way up in the northern woods where the most beautiful Christmas trees in the whole world grow. They were such happy trees, Webster, because they were looking forward to being decorated for Christmas. But one especially had dreams of being the most beautiful Christmas tree of all. I don't know who that was. That was Joe. That's right. But his little friends were afraid that he could never do this. Why? What's the matter with Joe? Well, Webster, he hadn't grown nice and straight like the other trees, and he didn't have nearly as many branches. But you know, he was so happy that his friends wouldn't hurt his feelings, and they'd often say, Yeah, Joe, boy, Christmas will be in some nice warm living room. Yeah. And finally, the day came when one morning a big truck entered the forest and the men gathered all of the trees but one. Little Joe found himself all alone. Oh. Well, as they started to leave, one of the men said, Well, we might as well take this one, too. So he grabbed Joe with a trunk, and little Joe was so happy that he just turned loose on the ground. Ah! And when he landed in the back of the truck with his buddies, little Joe was about, well, if not the happiest Christmas tree in the whole forest. What happened? Well, they arrived in the city and were placed out in front of a big supermarket. Some of them were sprayed with paint. Gold, silver, white, why, even pink and blue. But little Joe said, no, no, I want to stay my own color green. But Webster, no one would even look at little Joe. Oh, poor Joe. Well, you remember I told you he was kind of bent and crooked, and he didn't have just an awful lot of limbs either. But he still kept hoping that he would go to somebody's home and be decorated for Christmas. Correct for Joe! Ah, uh, but Christmas Eve came along, and again little Joe found himself all alone. This time on the sidewalk in front of a store. It was nine o'clock. The manager came out. Well, I don't imagine anybody will be wanting a Christmas tree this late, so I better put this one back in the alley. And that night... Little Joe heard sleigh bells, and as he was leaning against the building, he saw some little girls and boys enjoying a sleigh ride, singing Christmas carols. But it wasn't long till everything was quiet. And little Joe wasn't the Christmas tree he wanted to be. But Webster, you might think that the story of little Joe is over, but it's only the beginning. How? Well, a few days later, a gardener passed by the store on his way to work and saw little Joe sitting in the alley. Now, remember, Webster, I told you the man in the forest pulled little Joe up right by the roots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the gardener took Joe out to a big, beautiful home near the edge of town and planted him in the front yard. He stuck a big pole beside Joe on the ground and tied him up so he stood straight as an arrow. And with plenty of water and care, little Joe became the prettiest tree in the whole city. And do you know what? No, what? When next Christmas came, little Joe was so big, tall, and strong that the people living in the house decorated him with hundreds of beautiful Christmas tree lights. Red, yellow, green, white, and every color you can think of. And people came from miles and miles around just to see little Joe. Oh. No, Webster, he wasn't little Joe the Christmas tree for just one year, but for all time, his dream had really come true. Oh, I like that story. But wait, what do we say? In the land of make-believe, they all live happily ever after. Did you 
Oh, it's bright, 